shoot three games over the round 10 weekend so this is game two um, but to start off the night um, of this video I want to talk about the lens I'm going to explain to you a little bit about the Sigma 120 to 300 DG OS HSM 2.8 S okay so there's a lot of letters there right it's got its own alphabet now Quickly run down on it. S stands for sport. DG stands for, uh, it was designed with a full frame camera in mind, which means it'll suit a full frame sensor. Uh, HSM is the hypersonic motor, <clears throat> which is basically, um, hypersonic is for speed and sound. So it was quiet, it was a, it was a fast, fast movement elements inside, which allow it to capture the sport. And we also have the OS, which is the optical stabilizer. Um, so basically in a nutshell, I think we got all that. <laughs> so let's quickly talk about how I set it up. So you have the optical stabilizer um, settings, which have three settings. It's got one, two, and off. Now settings one is for um, it corrects all lens movement. So if you're hand holding this and you're going to shoot a portrait and you have a little bit of shake in your hands or or whatnot, um, it, it'll straighten that up and you'll notice it because you I have hand held it and I've done it and it locks the lens so you can't even see your hand shaking. It it's that it's that it keeps it that still. It's really good. Um, two was just for vertical lens movement. Um, depend on what you're shooting, what sport or whatever it might be whether you need those settings or not. <clears throat> I can tell you now that uh, I shoot with this lens every week and uh, OS is always in the off position. <laughs> I never use it. Uh, the reason for that is because I'm shooting sport. One, um, my shutter speed is always very high. Um, if I'm shooting during the day, I'm always um, 125 of a second or much higher. Right, so I'm shooting very quick, and at night I don't shoot any less for my action stuff. I don't shoot any less than 640th of a second, so that could be up to 800th of a second, a thousandth of a second, depending on what field and what kind of light I'm shooting under. But um, yeah, so I keep it off. I don't need it. Uh, even even if I'm going to shoot a manager on the sideline, whether he be yelling or talking to a player, or a referee holding a card or blowing the whistle. Um, I'll, I'll still slow my speed down, even slower than 640 just for those because they're not moving fast. But I'm still on a monopod and I'm not getting much camera shake. So, and I don't notice in the images. So, for me, there's no point. I, I do, I have done tests. Um, I have tested it at night with image stabilizer on. Um, I've also tested it with it off. Only for test sake, just to see what I think. And for me, I feel like the um, optical stabilizer at night with the, the fast moving objects going from left to right real quick, I just feel that it's a little bit sluggish. It has a bit of a you know headache trying to you know straighten out that lens, pick up the sharpness. And for me, I just feel like I, I lose maybe that first or second shot before the other one starts to correct itself. And I turn it off and I don't have that issue. Now, the, only, the other setting on here, so they're all here. You can see all four different switches. Um, the, the final one at the bottom is your custom settings. So this Sigma lens was brought out with a dock, which you um, connect to the back, back bottom of the lens, and you plug in with a USB to the computer. 
and there's a program and you can play around with the settings. So basically that I haven't I haven't got one. Um, I haven't used one. So I can't from experience tell you exactly what it does, but from what I've read, uh, you can actually play around with the speed of the auto focusing. Um, there's a few small adjustments you can make to different things, but um, from what I've read, if the, the faster you make the auto focus, the less accurate the image will be. So I don't know, I haven't played with that. Um, I will eventually get one because uh, th this lens isn't going anywhere for now. <laughs> you know, this is, this is my go-to lens. It's 120 to 300, it covers everything. I still do use the 70 to 200. Um, between the two, I pretty much cover them from 70 to 300 millimeters, really. I mean, I look, I only use this one if I'm really, if they're really close and I'm in that tight corner. Other than that, I'm using this one majority of the game. But, um, so, yeah, I think that's pretty much about the lens. Um, other than saying it's a great lens, I, I, I do, I do use the carbon fiber um, lens cover. Uh, and the reason I, I, I did that is because um, I, I, like the, I like the size of it. It was a bit longer than the original. Um, it's good for all weather. You don't have to. Like the original one that comes with is good. So it was just me, my personal preference. Um, but yeah, so that's it. So I had, uh, with this one, because of the weather, it, it didn't happen to around about 65 or 60 minute mark of the game. It started to light sprinkle. You'll see from the GoPro though, the um, when I'm shooting, I had the GoPro in the hot shoe. And you'll see from some of those, the, the, the storm in the background, like the lightning was just going off. It was getting closer, so I was keeping on it all, the whole time. So around the 60th minute, I started to um, get ready for the, for the rain. <coughs> And I had to use, I got all kitted up, got the Think Tank uh, camera cover and lens cover. So basically this fits perfectly over the 120-300. Uh, um, it'll fit over the 400, it's, it's a big one, uh, big cover. So basically this the ring that fits over top of the lens cover, it's kind of like a, I don't know what material it is, it has like a rubber sort of feel to it, so it grips. So once you put it on, you've also got a Velcro cord here, you can tighten around the front of the, the lens cover, and it doesn't budge, it sits there the whole time. Uh, once the cover goes over it, you've got your clear plastic, just here, so you can see all the screen, but it also has inside the clear plastic, it has like another plastic clip with a little hot shoe insert. So you can actually slide that into the hot shoe and then that doesn't move. So as you walk around, put your hand underneath here and you can still look through the plastic and it's quite clear. Um, but yeah, so I use that, and I'll tell you what, you got the zip, you, got, you use a zip underneath if you want to seal it 100%, or if you want to leave the zip open so you can get your hand under to zoom in and out, it just has little clips every, say, 200 millimeters apart from one another, so you still got that room to put your hand under. And uh, if you ask me for a recommendation, I'd say, you know, if you can't afford a 300, then this is your next best bet. The only time this is ever going to be stopped using is when it's replaced by 300 or 400 in my kit. Until then, it's not going anywhere. It's an awesome lens. I get some great shots with it. So I hope that gives you enough information about the, the lens. And um, yeah, have a look at some of the shots, see what you think. And uh, hopefully enjoy the rest of the video. All right guys, enjoy.
watching here, we've got a lot of lightning. Slowly coming this way. The under 20s was already caught off because it, uh, it came down with hail and everything. So we're just gonna keep an eye on this lightning and thunder now. Come over the far side, try and get a bit of light from the stadium in the background. Always makes for some nice photos. That was fun. That was some heavy raindrops. Still coming down now a bit. But uh slowed down. There's a lot of lightning around. It's kind of backed off a bit now. The thunder started. But uh oh that's just they've just missed. Sydney FC just missed. We're going up that end, about halfway up. But, uh, it's not fun when it starts running heavy like that. I quickly run over, grab everything, because I thought it was going to hold off the way it was looking there for a while. But it's alright for a second. Alright, I've got to get back to some shots. Well, 71 minutes gone, and there's, so there's still roughly 20 minutes left. Uh, we got Sydney FC up 1 0. Got some heavy rain and some big lightning strikes, so uh, they the ref called the game for a bit and gonna reassess in, uh, I think it's 15 minutes. So I got a bit of a break now, but uh, lucky for the wet weather gear, I'll tell you that much now. <laughs> You can see I've got the think tank covered back up on it. Got the, uh, the Tool Pro. Just a cheaper version of the Pelican, really. Does the same job. But, uh, the rain ain't easing up, it's getting heavier. Got some pretty cool rain shots, actually, just before the ref caught it. So, it'll be interesting to see those and see how they turn out. But, uh, <laughs> don't know if we'll get to finish this game or not. Only got one coach or one manager. Try like, like to try and get both of them, plus all officials. I think I've got all the officials anyway. But it's covered until the next one. Alright, so what happens in the next 10-15.